the peers, Professor Dick Salk, uh, distinguished members of the panel, uh, our guests, invited guests, and ladies and gentlemen of the press. Good afternoon. Okay, can I hear it better? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Press Club Luncheon of Kenya Editors Guild. This is a, a monthly event where we invite uh, a key policy maker to come and discuss and allow uh, discussion, allow question, questions on a key policy issue. And uh, our issue in question is the reintegration of refugees into society. Um, Kenya Editors Guild uh, stands to promote uh, professionalism and excellence in journalism. And uh, we also do that through offering opportunity um, for editors to do discussions such as this. We offer opportunities um, to our members to be able to um, understand issues better through uh, platforms such as this. We also offer opportunities um, for training for reporters and uh, we offer platforms really to allow media to engage with policy makers. Um, on the question of reporting uh, refugees, we have been uh, looking at, um, at the dynamics of refugees. We've been looking at a project that seeks to you know, change the narrative. Uh, about refugee issues in Kenya, about their acquiring of citizenship, about their reintegration into society. And we've been asking questions about the legal challenges facing refugees, cultural challenges, the religious challenges, resource challenges facing refugees. How has the media been covering these issues? We we'll look at offering opportunities to, um, to allow media to report on, you know, various topics, various topical issues, and this has been one of them. How has media been projecting issues of refugees in regard to their citizenship? We not have refugees out there who um, are doing great things, uh, who have lived here since birth. What is the, what does the government have in store for them? The Refugee Act of 2021, um, how has that been deployed? How is it being implemented? So for us, we would like to, um, to offer that opportunity for media to ask these questions. We would like to offer that opportunity uh, to the ministry, uh, to the PS, to be able to answer questions regarding the refugee questions, so that then reporters are able to report uh, from a point of knowledge reporters are able to report factually, are able to understand the issues before reporting. From this, therefore, we hope um, to contribute to the realization, um, the oper open operationalization of the Refugee Act 2021, and we would like to see how it promotes integration of refugees. And we'd like to, to look at the setbacks um, of this uh, Refugee Act, we'd like to see how then it has been implemented. So that here is our goal, so that we are able uh, to project issues factually and not misreport. And we are glad that our guests, um, the PS, um, honored our invite. And uh, we are happy that editors um, and reporters are here and are keen to, to ask uh, questions regarding the subject. With those few remarks, um, I'd like to say uh, thank you very much and invite the next speaker. When we have our press club um, luncheon, um, we invite a senior journalist or a senior editor to put things into perspective. How has the media projected these issues from a media perspective, from where they sit as an editor covering uh, various issues or as an editor receiving stories about various issues? What is the media getting right? What is the media getting wrong? Um, what are the prejudices that need to be removed from the stories that are being told? So for that, I'd then like to invite Anne Soy. She is an editor with the BBC uh, World Service. Karim Sana. Thank you. 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 Th